Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, aka Ivy Crazy, and this is How to Be Successful in FPV Part 2, Choosing Your Airframe. You might find this part very simple and you might be tempted to skip over this. Please don't. The airframe is what's going to carry your video, so choose it wisely. Well, what should you choose? Well, if you already fly, find the airplane you're really bored with, something you really don't care about. Throw the video system on and go have a blast. The great thing about an airplane you don't care about, you don't care if it gets torn up, you don't care if it's ugly, and you're gonna be less likely to be to coddle it. You're gonna have a good time with it. But let's say you're just getting back into the hobby or you don't have that airplane that you don't care for and or none of your airplanes seem suitable for video piloting. So what are you gonna choose? Well, you've got three major choices. The first of which is the tractor prop. This is the most common type of airplane with the propeller out front. The great thing about the propeller out front is you feel like you're inside the airplane flying it around the sky. So if you've ever wanted to be a pilot and never got the chance to get in an airplane and get behind the sticks, this is going to feel like you're really in that airplane, yet you're safely on the ground. However, a lot of pilots find that spinning propeller annoying. They don't want that in view. It's a hindrance or an obstruction. Me personally, I like it, but most people don't. So that leads us to the second type of airplane. The pusher prop. The pusher prop puts the propeller right behind, behind the camera somewhere so you don't have the spinning prop in view. It gives you an unhindered view of the world around you. You kind of feel like you're flying, kind of like if you were Superman. The only thing about a pusher prop is it doesn't feel so much like you're on board an airplane, more like a flying man in the sky, like a flying camera. But perhaps that's your thing. And if that's what you like, go for it. There is another type of pusher airplane that doesn't necessarily have a center prop. And you'll see a lot of these. The flying wing. This is a pilot's airplane, very high performance. If this is gonna be your first airplane, this is not for you. This is a high performance plane, very difficult to launch, but a whole lot of fun to fly if you're an experienced pilot. And then there's the third type of airplane, the twin motor. Beauty about the twin motor is you got the propellers out of view, completely unhindered view, but a whole lot of performance. Great thing about a twin motor is they climb like no other airplane, and they're quite fast too. They're also fairly easy to launch. The great thing about a twin motor also is if you pan your camera to the side, you can look out over your own spinning prop, and that is the best view you will ever have in FPV is to look out over your wing, over your spinning prop. In this case, I also chose a tilt camera so I can look down at the world below me. It's your choice. What airplane should you choose? Well, whatever airplane suits you. But remember, the last reason, the absolute last reason you should buy an airplane is because somebody else has it. Choose an airplane that you want to fly, not because somebody, say, Trappy flies it. If you don't want that airplane, don't choose that airplane. Don't choose an airplane because I fly it. Choose an airplane that you want, because that's what you're going to have the most fun with. This has been an IB Crazy tutorial, and keep your wings in the sky.